everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP 15 notebook laptop. The exact model is an HP 15-F039WM. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can step by step open up your laptop and how you can replace the mechanical drive that comes in here with a faster solid state drive. The solid state drives are much much faster and it will change the performance of your laptop dramatically. And I highly recommend you guys to replace the especially on these processors, replace your mechanical stuff, which, uh, hard drive, which is the bottleneck of your system with a good solid state drive. This one, the client brought this one in, but if you want to get a way better brand, which is a Samsung uh, SSD, they are not expensive, but they last you longer and they are much better the quality. And this is a 480 gig, 500 gig, so grab yourself up to two terabyte SSD drives will work perfectly fine with no problem. So what you want to do, you want to get yourself a solid state drive and just remember by replacing the solid state drive on your laptop, you're not going to have any operating system on the drive. So you have to install your Windows freshly installed on the SSD drive, which I highly recommend. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also, I made a video how to properly install it on your HP laptop. Those links will be on my video description. I, it takes up to five to 10 seconds, 10 minutes to install your OS operating system and you do a Windows update and you're ready to go. But for those people that like, uh, they don't wanna do installation, they're like, uh, okay, I just wanna conserve everything. There's another way, but you gotta get an SSD that is, is bigger than the hard drive that you have. If you have a 500 gig mechanical drive, you have to get a one terabyte SSD drive. And then you can, buy a, an adapter for SATA adapter to a USB and you can plug this one in your laptop, power it on, download a cloning program which is called Mercurium Reflect and you can clone your mechanical drive to your SSD drive. I do not recommend you guys to do that um, because it is uh, it will lower the performance a little bit, not that much and even a cleaning installation on SSD is much more preferable than cloning. But if you want to clone, there's an option for cloning. You can just use an adapter and clone it up. And in this video, I'm just going to replace the hard drives and show you guys how to start installing Windows on this one. And the continue of the installation, check my video link, how to properly follow the steps. All right, back up the files, power off the laptop, close it down, flip it upside down, remove the battery. I believe this one goes here and slide it backwards. Grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We are going to be using two types of the bits, a uh, Phillips number one and a uh, Phillips double zero. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and cover. Also, you need a tweezers, a curved or straight pointy tweezers. Now with all this on hand, let's go ahead and do it. First thing first, we're gonna remove this tiny cover right here for the RAM and the Wi-Fi. This screw right here has a C-lock, so it will not come out entirely, so you just have to loosen them up. Once you are, they are loosened up, just grab it and pull up the cover and slide it out so you can release this front end hooks. Now down here, you wanna remove the Wi-Fi board. Actually, hold on a second. We don't need to remove the Wi-Fi board, but then you know, we only need to remove this screw, this, and this, these three screws. So remove these three screws. Keep them in one pile, so they are the same screws as the rest. Now we wanna remove this DVD drive by removing one screw right there. And now I slide out this DVD drive. Put it to one side. You want to switch to Phillips double zero. We want to remove three screw chrome heavy screws right in here. So remove these three chrome screws. All right, switch back again to Phillips one. Now we're going to remove every screw that you see on the bottom cover, everything, even the one in the middle. Remove all of them starting from one corner. So go ahead and keep them in the same piles as the rest. They're all the same again. I'm gonna use a little tiny magnet to be able to pull my screws out. 
Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos useful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. I'm going to fast forward this part a little bit. All right, once we remove all the screws, what do you want to do? You want to flip it back, just double check, make sure you haven't missed any. Flip it back this way. You want to open it, grab the opening tool. We're going to stick it between the keyboard and the palm rest, just like that. And then we just want to twist it backward, just like that. You're pretty much scooping up the keyboard once every centimeter, and you want to hear those tiny clicks. I'll put my finger here to hold it down, and I'll keep doing it. You want to do just the top portion, and then lift it up from the middle, upward a little bit, until you just feel it that it's loose. Lift it up towards the screen so you can loosen and release this hook on the front end. Flip it upside down. Now you want to put your fingers at the back side of this jack and you want to lift it up. Use two fingers. One, because you don't want to use one, it can break it. Use two, one from each side and lift up this hook 90 degree. Now you can slide back the flex cable for the keyboard. You want to remove the flex. For this one, you can use one finger to lift up this hook. Same thing here, lift it up. Use a tweezer to pull back the flex cables. Now you wanna remove four screws. One, two, three, four, five. Five screws. So remove five screws on the palm rest. I don't know why they do this. They could have made it easy, just put a tiny cover on the bottom side, like the RAM, but no. They don't want people upgrading their laptops, so they make you go through the whole process. Once you remove the five screws, now you want to stick the opening tool between the palm rest right there and just want to twist it. Work yourself all around in the front. You want to hear those big, huge click sounds. You want to work yourself towards the DVD drive to the back corner, to the side. And towards the back corner. All right, once you did that, you want to grab it from the front. You want to Pull it up, you're gonna feel like something is holding it there. It's just tiny hooks. There we go. You just wanna pull it up from here a little harder. And it will come up, lift it up, wiggle it around, and it will release the hooks on the back side. And there we have it. You're gonna put that to one side. And there's your hard drive. So they could have easily made a little tiny cover like the way they did in here, right in here with two screws, open up two screws and remove the hard drive like a normal laptop uh, that you can have find these days. But no, they rather put it in here and for you to remove the whole thing to reach it. And to even make it worse, they don't put the flex cable underneath, they put it over, so pretty much you have to still remove this flex cable right through here. You have to remove it one screw and then you want to lift up this PCB for USB and then you can reach this one. You want to put your fingers right underneath and lift it up. Okay, this one's supposed to have a screw, but it doesn't have a screw. I have no idea why. So lift it up, bring it up. Yours will not come out like this. Yours is supposed to, to come out with this whole bracket, which is called a caddy. So when you lift up yours, it's going to come up like this. And when it's up, hold on, let me hold this so you guys don't get confused. When you pull up like this, you want to disconnect this cable, don't pull this cable, just pull the adapters back, just like that. Now, on yours, you're going to have one screw, two screw, and three, four. There's going to be two screws on both sides of this caddy. The caddy is just a piece of rubber that holds the hard drive in place, supposedly. Don't know why. But I'm gonna find the screws for these ones and I'm gonna be, I'll be back. I got three, four screws for the hard drive screws, so we're gonna use this one. Now that we're gonna remove the, the carry from the hard drive by removing four screws on each side, make sure the orientation of the hard drive that you have initially is like this. Your SSD has to be on the same orientation with the same pin. So don't put your SSD the other way around. Otherwise, you have to flip this cable the other way. So, Remove the hard drive, put it to one side, put the new hard drive or SSD, 
Now we're gonna put the screws that we will be missing in here. And this is screw that I brought, it's a Phillips double zero. So we're gonna screw it down. No, oh, actually this is screw, this one is not for this one. I'm, I'm gonna be missing one screw. Yeah, I'll be short one screw. That was wrong. I found the wrong pair of the screws, so I'm gonna go back again to Phillips one, put this one in, Phillips zero, and put this screw right on top. So you should not be missing a screw, but I don't know why mine is missing. Okay. Um, if you put in an SSD, it's not really necessary to have the screws on, it's just to hold it in place, it's not going anywhere. So I'm missing one short screw, but it's not a big deal. Grab the adapter, adapter only goes in one way. Squeeze it in there. Put the front end of the rubber, slide it right under the hooks. You have to bring it down in 45 degree. Make sure it's right there and then push it down. Push the corners, make sure the rubbers go right in there. And there we have it. Grab the adapter for the audio and USB. Set it down, push it in there. Put the tiny screw for the board. Now we're gonna grab this bridge cable. We're gonna slide it right under jack and close it up. Grab the palm rest, bring it over straight. Squeeze down, make sure it does nice sweet clicks all the way. For the back, just like that. Now we're gonna put this flex cable for the power on switch, lock it down for the trackpad, lock it down, put the fiery screws under the palm rest, just like the way that you removed it. Okay, you're gonna grab the keyboard, put it down face down. Clean up the con contact, lift up the jack, you squeeze it right underneath, and close the lock. Flip it over, put the front end of the keyboard under the palm rest, hold down from the middle, just by about one centimeter height, you squeeze the sides down, bring this other side down and let go, and then squeeze the top row. Make sure you those tiny clicks. Now close up the laptop, flip it upside down, switch to a Phillips double zero, put the screws under the DVD drive, grab the DVD, slide it right in there. Now we are over with the double zero Phillips, you're just gonna work with this one. You want to put the three screws right under the cover where we remove the right in here. Once we put these three screws, grab the cover, put the bottom end of the hooks right there in 45 degree. Bring it down, squeeze, squeeze the side here, don't push right under the screws, right in here. And then you want to screw it, that, screw it down. Screw down, and there's a tiny opening, just push it down, and that's it. And the last thing is to put the battery in, lock it down, and put the rest of the screws on the bottom. I'm gonna put the screw, fast forward this part, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and put the, uh, what's called, install the OS. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna Power on, and I'm gonna start booting up from the USB as soon as I fast forward this part. So we are gonna grab our USB boot drive. Make sure you pinch, if there's any opening, just pinch it down. Okay, put it inside the USB. 
make sure when you want to install the windows you have your charger connected so i'm going to power on i'm going to hit escape keep tapping on escape until you see a boot menu from this boot menu we're going to choose f9 and we're going to choose the is in spanish we're going to choose the usb and that should be all and now it's going to take us to our Windows 10 or 11 installation process. And the rest, it takes up to five to 10 minutes max, and then you are in the desktop ready to go. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And we can see the Windows is coming up. I'm just gonna wait until I get to the Windows installation screen. All right, and there we have it. Now we're gonna choose the language and do the steps. And that's it for today's video.